With Ken and Paige, and we're going to be making this outstanding coffee table. Thanks. Yay. Okay. Thanks, right. you guys. What yes. materials are we? Wow. She's Jenny's going to help. I love Jenny, it. goes for yeah. the power tools immediately. Listen, right. I've seen Jenny's show. She knows her way around yeah. the power yeah. tools. Yeah. So, okay, yes. before we start, what materials do we need to make this? We need wood and a good attitude. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is what you oh. need. Oh. They're yes. both an aisle for it at your hardware store. <laughs> I can't quite remember, but oh, ask yeah. me next week and we should be able to talk about this. What Perfect. I have to say before we start on this one, I think is great what Paige did here when she actually built the table. is like it's big and oversized. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. for the summer, for a back, back porch, mm -hmm. it's like you can't get a coffee table that's big where all the kids, and you've got the puzzles right. and the games. Yeah. And or all the food. All the, the food. food, exactly. Yeah. So that's what yes. I think what's amazing about something like that. And the fact that it's the American flag, and Ken found a wonderful way to incorporate that without using the red, white, and blue, which were okay. all. Well, let's see what let's you see what guys you did. did. All right. Well, we'll start with the up. base. This we used one by fours for the base, and I cut them down to six foot segments. I'm actually making. Ken made the base. This is what's going around. So I'm kind of making the frame for his artwork. Is really what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, and then I, these are the legs. They're 18 inches each of four by four wood, which trick question is actually three and a half by three and a half. That will come in later. After that, I took my one by twos and cut those to size to make, it's kind of like if you buy a bed and you're putting it together, these would be the slots in between that actually hold up your bed, hold up your mattress in between. That's kind of the thought behind it. I put the one by twos three quarters of an inch down and put them all together with a little, what is that thing called? Nail My memory? Gun. Brad nail gun. Nailer. Brad Nailer. The professor yes. uses it on underneath the palm tree. Um, I actually used a larger one here though. These are two and a half inch nails. The other one was inch and a quarter nails. So this is kind of our base. It kind of almost looks like a twin bed, but you're right. We wanted something big for outside. So super easy. It's one big rectangle. One big rectangle. And then I put in the four by four legs, 18 inches each. I put them in with the nail gun, but I actually reinforced them with two and a half inch drywall screws just to make sure that we have, because this is a really big structure and if kids are going to be playing on it and right, it's going to be, be fun, it needs to last. I was very so. impressed with how easily this went together. I have to say, it was, it was like anybody can do this at home. Super well, easy. I was, yes. I, was, what? I will oh. say, the, the, go, go ahead, finish, and then I have a couple. No. No, it, it was easy too, and and to have the girls here on our set come and help me, it's like really all you need a pair of gloves and some eye Thank protection, God. and you guys can do this at home. It is so easy. But the next tool was the most intimidating tool my dad ever used really? that I was around, and it's what Ken's going to do. Shall we? Let's go. I want to know how you made those. When he burn turned marks. this thing on and he did the yeah. spark yeah. arrest, oh, yeah. but you have to remember, you think of this and like, oh, it's a blow charge. You use this when you make creme brulee in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. You when buy you make these. Your creme brulee. Right, yeah. exactly. So <laughs> you might be intimidated by creme brulee, but most people are not. Mr. <laughs> <It's your laughs> Iowa. I am. I am. So. All we're going to do to get the uh, to get the burn mark, so we're not using paint, and there's no special finish. You get your piece of wood, and let's right. do the stars, for instance. What I got here was just metal stars. Got these from the craft store. I use big ones, but you could oh, also sorry. use little small ones. Place those on the wood wherever you want them. Now, the way this guy works is all you do is turn the dial. Where are you, Schwartzy? There you go. And that's going to get your gas going. Okay. Point it at somebody else. Yeah. Point it away, and then Standing just push back. the little red. You can't see that, but you're a flame coming out, and then you just aim it. You can hear it. Oh, hey! Right there. Look at that. It's as easy as that. Go around your star, you know, get your edges, and then, you know, do a little bit. Can those be refilled, or do you just take a, do you, just you can take them to the, you take them, you can really swap them out, and then you get a new, new one. Uh, and it's really tank. as easy as that. You can get as dark. <laughs> Things are smoking. Yeah. Is that supposed to yep. happen? Yeah, yeah it does smoke, because you are burning the wood. Um, it is hot afterwards, yes. so don't I'm use it with say, your. Move it. With and that. there you go. Hi. So you want to do? Um, oh. Why? Thank you. Well, Why, thank you. He, wow. it did all he just burnt wood, people. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's pretty amazing, wow. Mark. So you yes. just want to get your slats, and there are 13 stripes. Um, eight of them are red, so do those dark. Seven are not. And if I got that wrong, no. please don't yell yeah, at me. Yeah, knowing me, well, I would make <laughs> that <laughs> completely wrong. Let's go, I, complete right, our let's table. go back and complete the table. Exactly. So when Ken did 13 slats all the way across, and you can see these ones, these ones. are plywood. So that's what the stars are on. So what we did is on the back here is we just reinforced it with slats to hold all 13 of these together. And this is how easy it is, you guys. Just turn it upside down, use a flat Woo! surface. There it is. I like that down. You love it. I, I got excited when you sound. hear that. Yes. I, I could say Christina could use a Brad nailer if you glued it. 
because she loves you. I love using, yeah. Right, right. Fine. But right, you could. This, this and is the best. you could, yes, you could add glue and the project would have been much stronger, but really? I mean. But we yeah. forgot. Under. But no, only because I, she likes to use the bread nailer. She, right. I just right. wanted I do. to tell her. Shall All right, we? guys, come on, Jenny, let's, let's okay, go. Okay, which this. way we flip it? Uh, let's go this way. Should we go Ready? that way or Wait, do you want this come way? Come on, Mark. It's going to end up hitting <laughs> in the head. All right, and then this should just lay right in here. And look at that. 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 Look at that.